Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video and today of course I have another wig to do a review on. Y'all already know I get hype when I get my hands on a new wig and the one that we have today is from the Janet collection. This one right here y'all. So this one is called Zendaya. It is from the Janet collection milk natural hairline collection so i am too too hyped and of course i have to give a huge shout out to janet collection for sending me this unit to do a review on so thank you very much y'all already know it's highly appreciated so let's just get into what she is all about but of course first if y'all want to know what i have on my eyes y'all i have been playing in makeup and just being a little bit um uh, creative I guess and this is what I came up with I did do a review on it tutorial on it if you're interested definitely look in the description box below and check it out I mean not too hard y'all so anyway and of course if you are interested in the hair that I am wearing the link to my review will be in the description box below so definitely go ahead and check that out too so y'all let's find out what's going on with Zendaya Okay, y'all, so let's take a closer look at what the stock card is looking like. Like I was telling y'all earlier, she is from the Janet Collection. She is called Zendaya. As y'all can see, I'm pointing to the before and after. We're supposed to have a pre pluck natural hairline on this one, y'all. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to that. So, um, she is from the Melted Extended Deep Part Lace Collection. So, other details about this one is that she is a premium synthetic wig she is pre-plucked like i told y'all pre-customized natural hairline we can melt this one down she has a 13 by 6 lace wig frontal and i'm all here for that y'all so as y'all can see the lace right here is kind of brown i did not even have to use any of my tint spray on it so i was happy about that saved me a little coin by not using it anyway this right here also showing that we have some baby hairs y'all I really love these waves y'all I mean super pretty I am definitely here for this style always here for a style that looks like this y'all very very nice so right here I'm showing y'all that we do have the baby hairs they're okay a little bit thicker than what I would prefer but I mean not too bad not too bad she is just about ear to ear a little itty bit of piece of my edges is sticking out but not too bad at all so i would say she's ear to ear but y'all obviously what i am going to be a little bit disappointed i'm telling y'all that earlier that i feel like we should have had a lot more of the pre on this unit is a little bit too perfect for me y'all so i'm definitely not feeling the hairline i was expecting better especially with the before and after picture but yeah what i am happy about is the fact that she is big hair friendly y'all so everybody get a wig you get a wig you get a wig you get a wig everybody i'm here for it <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and style her up just continue on watching we will talk about the good the bad and the whatsoever at the end of this video Listen. 
Yeah, so let's talk about Miss Zendaya. She is really, really pretty, y'all. I am feeling this style a lot. I have a few good things to say about her and a few bad things. Not too many bad things, y'all, but y'all know I gotta give it to y'all real no matter what. So let's just get into all the good stuff. So obviously, like I just said, the style is really, really pretty. I'm loving these waves. Super, super sexy wave, y'all. I love me a good spicy sexy wig y'all this is really really nice i am loving the versatility of this one too y'all already see that we can go from left middle or right and i went with my left side part today so i'm definitely feeling what she is giving y'all waves are super cute so as for the way she is feeling she really is a soft wig y'all very very soft this is a very very light yakky like a smidget of yak is in here this is mostly a silky unit in my opinion so it's not too bad i don't think my yakky people would be too mad at this one because we do have a smidgen of yak in it so it's not too bad so um as for the length y'all y'all already seen that she is pretty long i am 5'3 and she reaches to my lower back so yeah um if you don't like long wigs you may not like this one but to me she's not too long in my opinion so as for the density i'm loving the density this is all of the hair in the front so yes, a lot of hair on this wig, at least not a lot, not too much hair on this wig in my opinion. So I think she's perfect when it comes to the density. She is laying really, really flat on my head, so I'm definitely here for that. The baby hairs were really, really easy to lay down. A little bit too many in my opinion, a little bit too thick. I could have definitely used less, but I'm good. She was okay, it was okay. But as for the cons, y'all, y'all know I have a few cons because she is a light yak and because she's a 1B, I didn't think I would get as much shedding and tangling as I got out of this one. So I did get a good bit of it, not to the point where I feel like I'm gonna be leaving a trail of hair as I walk away, but you are gonna get a moderate amount of tangles and shedding with this one. One thing that I was a little bit disappointed in was the hairline, y'all. The hairline was a little bit too thick in my opinion. I mean, if you say you're going to give us a little pre-plucation, I mean, give us a little pre-plucation. And I don't think they touched this too much. So, um, yeah, the, the hairline could have been much, much better. But it's okay. So, anyway, y'all, y'all already know it's okay with me because I didn't even try to go in and, and pluck it. So, if you have time, you may want to go in there and manually pull out some strings if you are interested in getting this wig. Or not because y'all saw what I did. I don't necessarily think that you have to go in and pluck if you don't want to because I laid these babies down and the way I'm wearing it, you can't even tell anyway, in my opinion. But otherwise, y'all, I think the wig is really, really nice. I'm definitely a fan of it. I mean, even with the cons, I think she's still a very, very beautiful wig and I really do like her. So anyway, y'all, let's get into the price of this unit. As for the price, you can find this on a variety of websites, y'all. I'm going to leave a Google search below for you to go ahead and check it out. So this one is about $42.99 if you are interested in this one. So yeah, that's the price of it. So yeah, if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. And of course, y'all, now it's time for me to end this video. Please like, subscribe, and of course, comment. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Are y'all gonna get it? What y'all think? Let me know y'all thoughts. Y'all know I need my wig base to tell me what's up. Let me know what y'all think and I will see y'all in my next video.